Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Edward. This is a kit which is made in 170 second scale and it's quite interesting because it copies MiG-21PF as a profi pack. So now we have a commercial sample and it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review and it will be interesting to see what is actually included into this kit and why it should be interesting to all fans of Soviet aviation let's say and also of 170 second scale so first of all you can notice that box size is standard for this brand we have really beautiful box art here and here you can see comparison with my hand size so it's not that big next on the side here you can see some safety advices and address of the manufacturer and also kit number is 70143 and next on the opposite side here you can see five marking options which are included into this kit. I can see that these are different countries but we will check it further once we will be taking a look at the assembly manual. This is a top opening box and as you can see there is I would say plenty of space but still it's better to check the parts if you can because it will ensure that everything will arrive intact and by the way you can see that yeah all frames are packed into the same plastic bag and we have this assembly manual on the bottom. So first of all I'm going to open this resealable plastic bag and take out all these plastic frames and we will check everything closer and then gradually we will move to other components in this kit. So, uh, I would like to start with a clear plastic sprue, even though it was packed in between grey plastic frames. Still is interesting to see clear parts first, just like we do in any video review. And then we continue with grey plastic. I'm just trying to remove it because it's a bit of a tight fitment. So here it is. And let's zoom in a bit maybe close the lenses so that it won't be that bright and here you can see these canopy parts so we also have some cockpit elements here for example instrument panels and you can see that canopy are supplied in several types so basically you can copy different versions of this Pemos fighter and that's really cool because it gives you more opportunities for build but Today we are dealing with a PF fighter, so that's why you should focus on this particular version. Next we continue with a grey plastic sprue, this is the first one, so let's zoom out. And you can check all the parts for the fuselage, also for wings, tail wings, and we have also combing panel here. But let's zoom in as much as we can so that we can take a look at these wing parts. So external features look really good, especially considering the fact that this is a 170 second scale kit. And that's why we have really nice rivets, panel lines, recess panel lines. And also here we have separate wing mechanization, we have also tail wings, and that's the combing panel I was saying before. And if I flip it over, inside you can see some of the guiding elements, so now do not underestimate the scale of this model, so it might be a 170 second scale jet fighter, but still you can see comparison with my hand, it's relatively, um, I would say, big kit, big aircraft, so be ready to work with such parts. Next we continue, oh, what is that? So I guess one of the parts broken off, that's the top part with the tail fin, but it's more or less fine, I'm just wondering why it actually broke off. Next we continue with this grey plastic sprue, here we have various parts for the cockpit, so let's zoom in a bit and you can see that here we have for example air brake panel which is molded in for the closed version, we also have the rear wall for the cockpit, pilot seat and also some other cockpit elements here. So do not forget that we are dealing with a profit pack here, so it means you will get various PE bonuses as well and it might be handy for some fine features in your kit so it, it might be a bit tricky but it will benefit your model. Next we continue with one more plastic sprue, this one is dedicated to mix of various parts so I won't be zooming out, it's better to zoom in and we start checking this sprue from the 
Left upper corner, here you can see another combing panel. We also have some parts for the main wheel wells, here you can see them. Next we continue with engine parts, side panels for the cockpit, some parts for the pilot seat. Also this famous already one piece nose cone, which can be installed after the assembly of the whole model, which is really cool. Next here you can see one piece cockpit base, also rocket thrusters and more parts for the cockpit as well as the landing gear legs here so everything looks cool and some of these parts can be upgraded with additional set from edward for example you can get uh, bronze legs you can get brassine cockpit you can get even one pilot seat if you would like to combine it with the plastic kit but what is sure is that once you get these upgrades they will give you a bit more features so definitely think it through maybe it's worth spending some extra money on such upgrade next we continue with another nice small addition for this kit we have various ordnance included out of the box so we have external fuel tanks missiles bombs and everything looks cool obviously you can again replace them with brassing sets from edward which will be even more superior but i think to get these parts out of the box it's a really good thing and um, your model will look fine in case you are aiming at the out of the box build so do not let's say underestimate such thing next we continue with several plastic bags on the bottom of the box so here is the first one i'm going to open it right now it's a profit pack so that's why we have a pe thread included and it's a pre-painted pe thread so here it is and here you can see also i wonder no we do not have uh, glazing on the dials because it's a 170 second scale but we have nice pre-painted parts we have seat belts we have also some minor elements for the pilot seat obviously instrument panel will be upgraded with this part so you're let's say getting a really detailed cockpit out of the box and as i said with brassing set you will get even more features so definitely consider it but also remember that in 170 second scale brassing set will be a bit tricky to assemble we also have a separate plastic bag with masks so they are pre-cut and you can see them here if camera will be kind enough to focus so now you should be able to see it and they look quite fine i do not have anything to complain about one more plastic bag is dedicated to decals so i'm going to open them right now and we will check them closer there are two decal sheets one big and one small both are printed in edward so one thing is sure that you don't have to worry about printing quality because edward decals are usually quite nice so let's zoom in maybe close the camera a bit so that it won't be that bright and you can see also we have a segmentation on the decals sheet so that's really a cool thing because it will make it easier to cut through decals and get the necessary symbol for your marking option and as i said we also have decals for the cockpit so in case you are not let's say that familiar with p parts you can use decals but that would be really strange and one more thing is this decal sheet with various stencils this one i would like to bring it closer so that you can see printing quality because it looks really cool we also have some seals for the canopy from what i can understand so that's also a good thing because you won't have to waste your time trying to paint all this stuff you get it as a decals which might be a bit tricky to apply because these are thin lines but still it is doable and in my opinion it's easier than wasting your time with an airbrush or maybe with a thin brush next we continue with assembly manual so this one is a bit tricky to take out of the box but here it is let's zoom out a bit maybe we close the camera even more yeah now you should be able to see that here we have a nice color printed brochure and it looks really good maybe i'll close actually open the camera a bit so we have short history note on the first page it's written in english so it will be understandable next we continue with the parts map and blue color means unused parts so note how many parts will not be used in this build next we have assembly process which starts with the cockpit obviously well it's a nose landing gear wheel well which is combined together with the cockpit so as you can see here we continue with various cockpit parts and you will have to decide on the marking because it will um let's say define some of the 
uh, part choices. So be sure to pick the uh, marking you would like to copy. Next, we continue with engine nozzle. By the way, engine nozzle can be also upgraded with brassing parts. And then we start working on the fuselage. So we join fuselage halves together. Now we start assembling wing which is glued out of two halves. Then we install main wheel wells between fuselage and wing. We install this one piece top section. Also we install the tail cone. And then we install wing mechanization and tail wings. We continue with nose vending gear leg and doors. Here we decide whether we would like to see the air brake in deployed or closed position. Next we continue with main landing gear legs and wheels. Note that there are some P parts applied for brake lines. And we also install the uh, landing gear doors. Here we have some optional upgrades so you can use P parts for the slats on the wing but it's up to you. It will require some plastic cutting and sanding in my opinion. And this is a bit tricky of an upgrade, but it will be noticeable once you apply. And next, only on this step, you start working on the pilot seat. And as you can see, it will be installed in almost uh, finished aircraft. Here we assemble canopy, which is also upgraded with P parts, which is really cool, especially if you plan to open it. And of course, we install the nose cone and the pitot tube probe. Next, we continue with masks and note that masks are used not only for the canopy but also for some of the fuselage elements. And here we decide which loadout we will apply on this model. So it will be quite a difficult thing to do, let's say. Next, we have first two marking options. So this one comes from 1988. This one is also from the same year and also from Czechoslovakia. It's Chesky Budijovice Air Base. Here we continue with one more from German Democratic Republic, late 80s. Uh, quite interesting camouflage in my opinion. And next here we have aircraft from late 60s, late 70s. One more again in a camouflage, but this one is from Hungary, 1987-1988. So next we continue with the stenciling guide because even in this scale Edward provides quite a lot of stencils so do not be lazy, apply them all on your model and you would see a really different result. But all in all we get a cool kit in a small scale so in my opinion it's worth getting if you would like to assemble this famous aircraft in a small size. Of course I'll be happy to hear your opinion about such release. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video press the like button subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye!